Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can oh, I want to fly with her and fly away. <laughs> Joining us now is our travel expert, Candace Derricks. Uh, welcome back to What She Said. Thank you. It's good to be back. And this evening, we are talking about visiting The Hague and Amsterdam. Yes. Can't believe you didn't take us. Oh, it, you know what? What a wonderful trip. My husband's family is uh, from Holland. Mm-hmm. And from the for the last 17 years, I've literally been listening to my husband say to me, if it ain't Dutch, it ain't much. And I would roll my eyes and say, oh, my God. But you know what? I now have to agree with him. I am in love with Holland. It was Uh, your first time there? Yes. Really? Yes. My husband hasn't been there in um, 30 years. Mm -hmm. It was a long time for him, too. And we took uh, our three children. You know, we toyed with visiting other countries. Um, While we were there, you know, everything, Germany is so close and Belgium. But we were so enamored with uh, the Netherlands. We're just, we're not leaving. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of focus on the first half of our trip today, which was um, split between The Hague and Amsterdam. Uh, the Hague is actually my hometown, Ottawa's sister city. And I didn't know that. Um, actually, somebody from uh, Tourism of Holland pointed that out to me, which is probably why I fell in love with it so much. It just felt warm and welcoming. And it was sort of the perfect jumping off point to our holiday. It was just... Um, Contrasted against Amsterdam, it was a bit of a slower pace, Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's also this really uh, great mix of old and new architecture. Have you ever been? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I love how they are so thoughtful about design in Holland when they put up a new building that it fits with the old Mm -hmm. uh, and everything's bright and light. It's just, uh, it's fascinating. So a few places to see in The Hague would be the Binnenhof. Uh, which was, um, you can look at a million pictures of this place, but until you see it in person, it doesn't really, you don't really get the beauty of this building, um, which dates back to the 13th century, which really makes us, you know, we're here celebrating our 150th. <laughs> like we're babies. I know. <laughs> I know. We are such babies compared to these places. Uh, also this year, The Hague is celebrating 200 years of distill from Mondrian to Dutch design. Um, and so a lot of people have probably never heard of Mondrian, but they definitely know his iconic yellow, uh, red, and blue block art. Absolutely. I have a, I have a dress with a Mondrian patent well, the, <laughs> on it. The fun thing about um, the Hague this year is they are actually celebrating it everywhere. So they've put these blocks on public stairs, store windows, buildings are blocked out, statues have this these blocks on it. Um, and finally in the Hague, you don't want to miss um, Maduro Dam which is like a miniature replicas of some of Holland's most famous attractions and buildings. So it's sort of cutesy that way. But when you scratch the surface just a little bit, you find out it's actually a really heartwarming war memorial that was built for uh, by George Maduro's parents, built in the honor of their son who died in World War II, to capture Holland at its best. And so you actually can't help but be like a little misty and, you know, and it's a happy war memorial, which is... Really unique, right? Um, And then on to Amsterdam, which was just sort of, wow. Amsterdam is crazy. (laughs) Crazy. Yes, it is. (laughs) And 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 which district were you hanging out in, Candace? Well, you know, I'm just going to say the red light district is not quite as scandalous as I think most people think it is. It really, we took my, my daughters in there and they were just sort of. Underwhelmed. It's just women <laughs> knitting in windows. Yeah. <laughs> um, what you really want to get is an I Amsterdam card when you get there, um, which you can purchase online at I- iamsterdam.com. You can buy them in 24, 48, or 72, or even 96 hour increments. And it gets you all of your public transportation, uh, free entrance to many of Amsterdam's museums and attractions, and a free canal cruise, which I think mm-hmm. is the best way to start off any um, trip in Amsterdam is to take a canal cruise because it really gives you a sense of, of Amsterdam. Mm-hmm. It gives you some history, gives you some perspective of where you want to go and what you want to see when you're in and walking around. Christine would hate it, though, because of all the cyclists. Oh, my gosh. The cyclists are crazy. <laughs> Like, you really have to watch where you're walking. <laughs> well, in, in Europe anyway. I mean, but yeah. They, but, they but Holland are, takes it to yeah. a whole new uh, level. Maybe, perhaps. <laughs> I think we're just babies here. Yes, we are. We are. And But I just wanted to quickly add about Anne Frank, because I think there's no better time right now than people to go to go visit the mm-hmm. Anne Frank house. And But make sure you book ahead of time, because the line for Anne Frank wraps 
for blocks. Really? Yes. So book uh, book online, and you can skip the line and go in. Did you mm-hmm. go up the very top ladder? We did. Yeah. yeah. So it, it was really just um, it very uh, somber mm-hmm. uh, and moving. And I'm glad that my daughters were able to see it. That's oh, important. Excellent. Yeah. So tell everyone how they can follow you and connect with well, you. Well, I'm going to have a whole bunch of information up on Life in Pleasantville. And they can go to holland.com uh, to find out information about Amsterdam and where to visit in The Hague. Well, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you. Even though I'm still upset that you didn't take us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, well, we're talking about going back next year. We'll okay. see. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. But just tell me when. Give me the dates. And we'll chat with you in a few weeks. Great. This is what she said. Stay with us.